What is up guys, Rick Hackus here, and with the Division Open Beta right around the corner, I'm going to be showing you guys today how to level up both your overall character level and your Dark Zone level as quickly as possible. Now this is going to be great for the people who don't have that much time to spend in an already extremely limited time beta, and so they don't have to worry about leveling up, and they can just experience the game in terms of its loot system and the Dark Zone for as long as possible. Now the techniques I'm showing you guys in this video are techniques I both learned and utilized myself in the Division Close Beta which was available earlier this year. The Division Open and Close Betas really don't have that much of a difference between each other so all of these techniques will still be relevant in the Open Beta. Now in this video we're firstly going to talk about how to level up your overall character level and then we're going to move on to how to power level your dark zone level. And in the actual game my first piece of advice is to do it in that order. I would recommend getting to your max character level in the closed beta it was 8 and it will likely be 8 again in the open beta before you enter into the dark zone and the simple reason being is because other people are going to be doing that. You don't want to enter into the dark zone when there's other people of a higher level than you. I would again recommend being at your most competitive, at your most powerful before entering into the dark zone. Additionally, the dark zone loot that's going to be dropping, you're probably going to want it to drop at the max level anyways. It's going to be annoying if you're getting all of these level 7 drops and then you go back and level up to 8 and then all your gear isn't as good as it could or should be. So level up your main character level first and then take on the dark zone. So again, let's begin with your overall character level. The first thing I would recommend doing is definitely initially when you first start the game, do some side quests. And remember, to get side quests in the division, simply request a situation report when you're in a friendly base. Now there's actually some side quests and some different encounters that are almost directly where you spawn into the game. One of the side quests, in fact the first one that I did when I played both on the Xbox One and on the PS4 in the closed beta is going after a person called Michelle Manson and it's just a side quest to go and kill her. Additionally, there's a side quest to go and work on a satellite array that's right near uh, this area where you do this Michelle Manson quest and there's another just encounter where you rescue a JTF soldier near this area as well. So you can accomplish like three missions and a few encounters within one small area. Now there's a couple of reasons why you want to do this. Firstly, all of these missions and encounters are going to give you naturally experience. So that's just going to help level you up in general. But secondly, the reason you want to go and do this first before taking on the main storyline is because sometimes when you play the main storyline, and this can happen in the Division Beta, you'll you'll just find yourself a little under leveled. This happens a lot in, for example, Borderlands, where if you don't do any side quests and you just stick to the main storyline, suddenly you find the enemies are becoming too over leveled and you have trouble advancing through the storyline. Again, the same can happen in the Division, so going and doing these side quests and maybe leveling up one or two times before taking on the main storyline is going to prevent that from happening. It's also going to let you get some gear that's going to also prevent you from getting just under leveled in the main storyline. So if you go and do some side missions and encounters first, level up, again, level up a few times, get some gear, you can then hop over to the main storyline and you won't have to divert from that. Now moving on, so you're going to do these side quests and some encounters and then you're going to take on the main storyline which involves firstly the main mission Madison Field Hospital which was the only mission available in the closed beta and in the open beta they've actually apparently added a whole new mission which is great, you'll do that as well. And actually upon completing this you'll probably find that you still aren't max level. Well here's the key, the next thing you need to do is to simply replay the old missions. You can actually open your map, go back to the Madison Field Hospital mission and presumably the new mission added for the open beta and you can actually replay these missions and you can change the difficulty from easy to hard. Changing it too hard is going to dramatically increase the difficulty. So if you can I would definitely recommend squatting up, but it is going to 
make the experience gained much much greater. Frankly, the majority of my leveling and how I leveled up so quickly in the close beta was simply replaying the mass and field hospital mission on hard over and over and over again with a full squad. We just ran through it so quickly and were able to just do it a bunch of times and again get to max level in only a few hours. This isn't just tedious leveling up either, because when you do the mission on hard, when you replay it on hard, you'll actually increase the quality of your drop for completing the mission. In fact, in the close beta, for completing the mass and field hospital mission on hard, you got a guaranteed blue item. These are going to come in handy for when you eventually take on the dark zone. Now that's pretty much it for how to level up your character level as fast as possible, but I do have one more piece of advice, which is simply pay attention to encounters. Remember, encounters are not normal quests, and they will be marked on your minimap. Again, pay attention to these because encounters can take as little as 30 seconds and reward pretty substantial amounts of experience. So definitely, if you're nearby one, check it out. Now let's move on to the dark zone. How do you level up your dark zone level as quickly as possible? And this is going to be important for a lot of people because in fact in the closed beta the only way to get the gold high-end weapons was to be the absolute max dark zone level. Now my first tip for leveling up as quickly as possible in the dark zone and this is going to be the absolute key thing for raising your dark zone level as quickly as possible and it is squad up. Now this is something that I guarantee a lot of you won't take seriously but trust me if you want to grind out those dark zone levels quickly you need to squad up. And it's actually very easy in the division. Just opening your map or pressing the start button will actually tell you. You can see on your map where your friends are although they won't be in your game instance you can see that they're playing the division. Invite all of these people, join their parties, invite them to your parties, do whatever you can to get a group together. And the reason being is because firstly, experience is shared in the dark zone. If one of your teammates kills a rogue agent or kills an NPC, you will get experience every time. Squatting up will also make it less likely that you die when you're facing, again, NPCs or other rogue players. And if you do die, hopefully your teammates can be there to pick you back up. Because if you die in the dark zone, your dark zone level, you'll actually lose a little bit of experience and you can actually be de-leveled. And that goes into my second tip basically try to never go rogue. Now I know there's going to be other people advocating to go rogue because there is actually a substantial bonus to experience if you go rogue and end up surviving. However, I would recommend against it and the simple reason being is because you level up pretty quickly without going rogue. And going rogue is a risk because like I've said, if you die, you'll lose experience. You'll go back down in terms of level. And if you die rogue, you'll lose even more experience depending on your rogue level. So a lot of players who are just trying to grind it as quickly as possible are not going to find it worth it to die in the dark zone. You're going to really want to prevent dying. And so playing with a big squad of players and trying to avoid going rogue and just trying to go after other rogue players and NPCs are going to be the people who reach the max dark zone level as quickly as possible. Now if you're really serious about maxing out your dark zone rank as quickly as possible and what I'm going to do is get four people together, like get the max squad size, go into the dark zone and just farm NPCs. Farm them to hell because if you memorize where some of the NPCs spawn and you can go from place to place to place and basically be consistently killing NPCs, you'll be able to rank up to max level in no time. Frankly, other players are kind of just a distraction when it comes to leveling up. Yes, you will get some experience for killing a rogue agent, and so if you see a rogue agent coming your way or he's right beside you, yes, take him out. But going out of your way to try to kill another player, especially since players can move fast and it can be pretty frustrating to track them down, 
again, it's just a waste of your time. You can spend up to, you know, a minute and a half or two minutes trying to hunt down a rogue player. This time is probably better spent just farming NPCs. Deal with the rogue players after you've gotten to your max level and bought your sweet high-end gear from the vendor hidden deep in the dark zone. Now that's it for the video, I hope you guys enjoyed and found it helpful, and if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating or sharing this video. Now if you want to see more Division content, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me, the best way is to follow me on Twitter, that's linked in the description down below, as is my Twitch channel, which you can follow as well. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day. Now, the Caduceus is one of two high-end weapons available in the beta. High-end weapons are essentially the Division's version of exotic weapons from Destiny or legendary weapons from Borderlands. They are the best, top-tier, unique weapons available in the game. Now, how do you get your hands on the Caduceus?